Have you ever wondered why mashed potato in a restaurant tastes so much better than the one you make at home? Well, it's simple as this. They're more invested in it than you are. But today, that's gonna change. It's true, the restaurants are definitely more invested in mashed potato than you will ever be. When you're selling a whole bowl of crushed spuds for about a fiver, or probably like $10 in the States, or actually, how much is a bowl? $12, <laughs> you know. How much is $12? Nine, pa nine pounds, nine pounds, wow. Nine pounds, me. Well, for those sort of prices, that mashed potato better taste amazing. That restaurant has to justify selling you a bowl of crushed spuds for something that costs them probably less than a pound a kilo. And let's be honest, 90% of the time you have mash in a restaurant, it's not great. 90 seems a bit harsh. Let's say 70. 70% of the time, that mash you've ordered is not great. They know it, you know it, and everyone just seems to be fine with it because really, how could could they be? They're just a bowl of crushed potatoes. Wrong. There is so much potential in those potatoes and it's up to us to make sure they reach it. So what potato should you use? Well, this is a personal preference, but I would recommend a slightly waxy potato. It just helps provide a little bit of body to your mash while holding on to all that lovely fat that we're gonna add later. My favorite is the Desiree, but any red skin potato will do the job. So first thing we need to do is bake our potatoes. I like to bake my potatoes as they take on less water than they would if we were boiling them, leaving more room for that delicious butter and cream. Prick the potatoes with a fork or a knife to release the steam as they cook and then stick them into the oven at 200 degrees for about 35, 45 minutes, depending on their size. While they're baking, it's time to get the other integral part of our mash ready, the fat. We're gonna be using a beautiful mix of infused milk and cream that's packed with flavor. Put the milk and the cream into a saucepan, then add a big old sprig of thyme, big old sprig of rosemary, a couple of bay leaves, and don't forget to crush those bay leaves in your hand to really open them up and release their amazing flavor. Then crush a couple of garlic cloves with the back of the knife and throw those in the cream as well. Season with salt, pepper, and nutmeg. And can we just take a second to appreciate my gorgeous nutmeg grater, please? Beautiful. Then get that pan onto the heat and up to the boil. But make sure you watch it because milk and cream just love boiling over and ruining your stove when you let your guard down. So stay on top of it, give it a stir from time to time and show it who's boss. By the way, if you want to put other flavors in the pan, you can. Go crazy, anything you like. Once it's reduced down by about a quarter, remove from the heat and leave to infuse. By now, those potatoes should be well and truly baked, but test them with a knife just to make sure. If the knife can go all the way through without any resistance, those potatoes are cooked. Now's the perfect time to set yourself up with a potato riser over a bowl. Working with one potato at a time, cut them in half and scoop out the flesh and push through the potato riser. Now you have to work quite quickly here because you wanna do all of this while the potato is still hot. Cold potato means the starch has set and you'll end up with sort of dense, gluey mashed potatoes instead of light and fluffy. I mean, look at this potato, it is steaming hot. That is what you want. Once all the mash has been pushed through, give it a little mix and then we're ready to finish this thing. Oh, and don't you dare throw away those skins. Turn them into delicious loaded potato skins instead. Write that down. Right, to finish this mash, you need to pass that infused cream, smashing all those herbs and garlic down to really extract the flavor as much as possible. If the cream is cold at this point, heat it up again. This will make it much easier to mix it into your mashed potato. Add the hot infused cream to the potato a little bit at a time and beat it in there. Throw some butter in there as well and keep mixing until it is completely melted. Now all you have to do is keep adding the cream and the butter until you have the consistency you're looking for. If you're looking for more of a pom puree, then go hard on the cream and butter and get it all in there to create this lovely light soft mash. Or if you like it with a bit more body, just hold back on the cream and butter so the mash keeps a nice firm texture. Once you have the mash the way you like it, taste, adjust the seasoning, and then all that's left to do is serve that incredible mashed potato however you see fit.
Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this recipe, let me know by hitting the thumbs up down below. And if you're new here and you like what you see, then why not consider hitting that subscribe button as well. Tell your friends about this channel, I'd appreciate it. I'll see you next time. Have you ever wondered why mashed potato in a restaurant tastes so much better?